Spray tanning is often touted as a safe alternative to heading out in the sun for a day or using tanning booths to get that bronze glow. And with summer just right around the corner, Dr. Sharini Iyengar, a cardiologist at the Bradenton Cardiology Center and Daytime's resident MD, is here to alert us that spray tanning has some dangers of its own. And this is spray tanning. This isn't just sunless tanning cream that you put on your skin. No, a sunless tanning cream was actually approved way back 30 years ago for approval by the FDA to be used as a safe alternative to getting sun tanning. So it's basically a cosmetic appeal, not nothing to do with medically treatments at all. Okay, what we're talking about here is the kind of spray tan that you get into a booth uh, and uh, it's all-encompassing on your body. Exactly. All-encompassing is a great phrase because that's what it is, is that you get in this spray tan around your body, but you can also inhale it and potentially get into your eyes. So that is a potential side effect of getting the spray tanning. Is it DHA or FDA approved? DHA is. It's the main ingredient in spray tanning. It's called dihydroxyacetone, and that is actually approved as the main ingredient when either the cream or the spray tanning itself. The main concern that I have is not that the cream or the spray is affecting the skin. You can obviously have a skin irritation to it. So my suggestion is if you're going to the spray tanning for the first time, get a little spot uh, tanning on your arm first or your leg or in those places to see if you have any irritation. Okay. If you don't have the irritation, I think going full forward with getting the entire spray tan is sufficient. But the main concern is, are you going to inhale the fumes or get into your eyes? Exactly. And if you do, what are their long-term effects? What is the problem with that Well, exactly? we don't know about the long-term effects of Which having... the issue itself. Exactly. But we do know that there's definite irritation in the eyes, without a doubt, immediately. And there's a potential for lung irritation if inhaled. All right. A lot of people, and that could be, oh, God, that could be horrid if, you know, long-term impact. If We don't know yet. We don't, we don't know. know yet, so could be. The reputable places that are doing this, though, should be doing it with goggles for the person that's getting the spray and obviously trying to avoid as much contact with the neck and above so you don't inhale any of the fumes. So essentially we should wear a face mask, but you're going in there for a, for a full tan. It is, and that's the downside to this is how do you make sure that you don't inhale these fumes? So we're really trying to decide at this point like how much of that is causing problems. I think that the industry, what we've seen so far, has been safe, but we are aware that people do inhale these fumes and they can be noxious. I've heard some people say that, oh, I'm getting a spray tan, I'm protected from the sun's rays, I don't need to put sunscreen on. And that's another misnomer. This doesn't protect you at all from the suntan. This is, what this is, is cosmetic. It, it does not protect against UVA, UVB. It's not meant to. It's meant to be a cosmetic look alone. So if you are getting a spray tan, you are not being protected from the sun's rays. So you need to put your 50 on. Exactly. Always wear your 15 or your 50. Um, real quick also, would you say this is still a, a better alternative spray tanning um, rather than lying out in the sun or lying in a, you know, a tanning bed? Well, Lindsay, that's great because we're looking at, there's laying in the sun, there's tanning salons, and then there's your spray tan. Spray tan, you get a cosmetic look, but you have no protection against the sun, and you're not getting any of the negative side effects of the sun. This, if you're going to the sun itself, you're getting the vitamin D benefit. Right. You do not get that vitamin D benefit from going to a tanning salon, but you do not also get sunburns but like I said, there's downsides to each one. Yeah, there are. So just weigh, you know, weigh, weigh the consequences. Exactly. And what benefits, if there are any. Sunscreen is probably the one thing I would suggest for all three. That, <laughs> I am with you on that 100%, doctor. All right. Now, if you'd like to learn more about tanning and your health, find Dr. Iyengar on Facebook by going to our website. That's daytimeonline.tv. We'll be right back. Whether it's love.